In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome text drop-in effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you first want to begin by creating a brand new text layer. So we'll go up to the T icon on the top bar of After Effects and we'll select anywhere in this black video. And you just want to type out a word of your choice and then we're just going to change the font if you like or increase the size of this. You can change the color if you like by selecting the color box and then you can adjust all of these other settings. It's completely up to you. But for now, I'm just gonna select the proportional grid and I'm gonna move this in to the middle of our composition. So this is our position for the text. We now need to animate this so that it drops into position. So to begin with, we're first gonna go into position. So we go into the drop down arrow, transform, and that reveals anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. So we'll move roughly two seconds to the right. So go around here and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position by selecting the stopwatch icon. Now we'll move one second to the left and we'll pull the position of this all the way up. So when we play this back, you'll notice that the text slowly falls into position there's nothing really dynamic about that. It's pretty boring. So we're going to add a bounce and that's going to make it more dynamic. So we'll go roughly in between these two keyframes. So we'll go in between these two and we'll pull the position past the middle. So we're going past here and we'll go down to around a third of the way down the screen or two thirds of the way down the screen. So it lines up around here. Now, when we play this back, it comes down a little faster and there's a bit of a bounce. Now, if this animation at this point isn't looking dynamic enough for you, then you can always go ahead and move these keyframes to wherever you like them. You can increase or decrease the gaps if you want to make a more or less dynamic effect. I find the closer they are, the quicker the movement is and the more dynamic it feels. So we're going to have a decent gap between the first and the second keyframes and a really short gap between the second and the third so that it bounces back up quite quickly. Although we can take it to the next level by adding in some keyframe interpolation. So we'll select all of those keyframes, right click on one of them, keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Playing this back will create a really nice bouncy effect. It's going to ease in and out of all of those keyframes to create this really nice effect. That looks really cool. Of course, we can add some rotation into this if we wanted to though. So we'll go to that second keyframe. We'll create a brand new keyframe on rotation at zero. Then we'll go up to the very beginning and we'll increase this to around six. There we go, playing this back, we've got this really nice drop in effect. Although the problem is we can now see the text waiting to drop in at the top. So we'll have to pull the position up just a little bit. Playing this back, we'll create this really awesome effect. Now, of course, you can always add a few more bounces after it's settled into its position. So rather than just bouncing and setting, we can add a little bit more of a bounce. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a few frames to the right. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. And then we'll move that frame. So this frame here will push that up just a touch. We'll move it up just a little bit more. Now we'll move over from this frame. We'll create another keyframe by selecting this icon here. Then we'll move back to the previous keyframe and we'll move this down a touch. There we go, that's starting to look a bit better. So we'll move back over again, create a brand new keyframe on position. This one came down, so this one's gonna go up just a little bit. So we move that up just a touch. And if we go from the very beginning and we render this out and play this back, you can see we've got this really nice bouncing text animation happening. And there you go. That looks really awesome. There's just one thing left to do, and that is to add some motion blur to this. So we're just going to select this box here underneath the motion blur icon. If you can't see this, then try selecting toggle switches slash modes at the bottom to reveal this window or this window. Make sure you can see that select this icon and then make sure the motion blur enables motion blur button is turned on and it's turned on when it's blue. So now if we just render that out and we play this back, you notice we've got this really awesome and dynamic bouncing text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. This is a really quick and dynamic way of transitioning text into frame. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.